In the near future, you'll see this weird magic button when looking at an issue on GitHub. That's because yesterday, GitHub proudly unveiled its latest crime against humanity, a brand new tool that wants to change the way we write code called Copilot Workspace, a tool that can write, test, and execute its own code entirely from natural language. I think we all knew this day was coming. Copilot is no longer just the copilot, but finally taking over as captain. It's not all bad news though. We humans will still have jobs as flight attendants who deal with the angry, confused customers. <laughs> Back there is not real! In today's video, we'll find out exactly how Copilot Workspace works and answer the question of should I be worried, or is this just more AI programming hype? It is May 1st, 2024, and you're watching The Code Report. It's been just over one year since GPT-4 was released, and at that time, I predicted a tool like this was coming, a tool that can plan, write, test, and execute its own code using only natural language instructions. Like Jensen Wong recently said, now everybody is a programmer, and Copilot Workspace brings us closer to that vision. Last month, we talked about Devon, which has now been thoroughly debunked, and Copilot Workspace is similar to it, but gives the developer a lot more control. Let's take a look at how it works. You can trigger Copilot Workspace by clicking the Code button, then describe a feature that you want to implement in the code. Or you can start with a GitHub issue, then open it up in a workspace. It'll then take you through a series of steps, with the first step being the specification. Here, it will look at the current state of files in the repo related to the issue, and then propose the edits that it's going to make in these files to fix the issue. What's cool about this is that you can edit this document, is so if the plan doesn't look right, you can modify it to guide the AI in the right direction. After the spec is in place, the next step is the plan. Here it will list out all of the affected files, and describe the code changes in each one of them. And as before, you can edit this document to modify the plan. Then, when you submit the plan, it will add these files to a queue, where the AI writes all the code to make the changes. From there, you'll be able to open up each file, and review the diff to see what actually changed. And of course, you can modify this code as needed. Before we merge this code, we can actually run it either with the integrated terminal or run it in VS Code in the cloud with a GitHub code space, and that means you can run and debug the code as if you wrote it yourself. Looks good to me, let's now create a pull request, and Copilot will even write the pull request description for you. Pretty cool, and overall I think Copilot Workspace is a good middle ground, where it's not just a simple AI autocomplete, but also not trying to take over too much control like Devon. The big question though is will this make programmers obsolete? The answer is a lot more interesting than you might think. When it comes strictly to the skill of programming, this is still very much a tool that will just improve productivity, without killing jobs in a significant way. In my opinion, the much bigger risk from LLMs and AI is that they could threaten the need to build new software, especially front-end UIs and business-focused applications. For example, a company called Chegg that helps college kids cheat on their homework has been collapsing ever since the rise of AI. That's because it's cheaper and faster to cheat with tools like Claude or GPT-4, and there's many other businesses affected in similar ways. That's why you see almost every business out there desperately trying to shoot horn AI into their business model somehow before their software becomes totally obsolete. So programmers are becoming more productive, while the traditional software that those programmers know how to build is in many cases being made obsolete by these big general purpose models. That sounds pretty pessimistic, but there's two reasons I'm not worried. Reason number one is that in order to use a tool like Copilot Workspace, you need to know how to read and understand code. It's a huge productivity booster for experienced developers, but can only build trivial things for the average person. It's like giving someone the keys to a fighter jet on their first flying lesson. That flight is not going to end well. But the other reason to be optimistic is that throughout history, every time programming has become easier, it's resulted in more programmers. It keyboards, compilers, and GUIs are all tools that make writing code easier, yet the programmer never went extinct. His kind continues to flourish at the top of the pay scale, and that's likely to continue for at least the next few months until GPT-5 is announced. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.